our WHF universe. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for the new figgies and feel the power. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. That's right, Elite Series 79, Xavier Woods, Big E, tag team titles coming up here. Up, up, down, down. And yes, we're going to look at both of them. Here they are on the side of the packaging. On the back, you got all the figs in the set. Now, we did review two out of the six. We already covered Roman Reigns as well as Bobby Fish. Io Shirai, again, turn on that notification because she's going to be joining Daniel Bryan. And we're going to be joining Big E. Actually, I want to check out that belt first. I want to take a real Real close look at that belt. Oh, you do hero figs, huh? You want to see what Up Up Down is all about? Well, that's what it is. That's what we're doing. And that's how we're going to get this open. Through the side, with the trombone, with the top of the tape. Ooh, a little extra tape going on today. I'm digging it. But the thing that I'm not digging is going to be that neck. Look at that neck. That giraffe neck. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to suffer the same issue with both head scans. I'm crossing my fingers that we don't. If you guys do want to pick any of these up, hit the link in the description below. Discount code here is going to save you 10% on that Up Up down down here is the belt that you guys wanted to see to determine whether or not this pickup is going to be worth it austin creed that's the man's name yes xavier woods that's what we see on wwe but if you go outside the cameo let's say you go ahead and step into the youtube world and you go check out the channel that's where we're picking up right here on the left as well as on the right and then also i'm, I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing this but right here on the left and on the inside on the main plate itself you're going to see remote control now if you're not familiar if you're not a gamer if you don't play the xbox or the ps2 this might not seem reminiscent, but it's really neat how they ended up making that little feature. How you got the up, up, and then on the right, we got the down, down. So we got the whole outline, and right there, oh, dude, this is so cool. I really like the combination of the blue and the white. Now, the only downfall that I'm going to point out, and I'm not sure if you can consider it a downfall because it really doesn't make that much of a difference, is how this was molded. So normally, you'll see like a regular belt, how you got like the straps coming through right here, and then there's a plate on the actual rubber. This is all pre-molded. It's not really bothered me all that much. I mean, that's kind of what they ended up doing with the Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins. So it looks like they're bringing it back. And then if you do look at the strap you're also going to pick up a lot of outline work right behind the plates you'll see it right there and it's going to carry through the entire thing as far as like the movement yeah it's a little bit stiff because it does have that style but again it's not a huge drawback matter of fact i'll go ahead and grab the old xavier woods so you guys can see how he holds it i think he's holding it right let's check out the rest of the accessories the trombone we're going to discuss this because this is one piece right here that people were talking about i'm not sure about the color not sure how i like it well it's the same piece we've seen it in the past we i think we actually ended up seeing with this release which is just one solid, there's like no color, there's no paint apps, you'll get like the bright pronounce, what are you guys going to call this? It's like a greenish blue, like a teal is what it is, so there it is, for anybody that hasn't seen this in the past, here's an up close image. For the interchangeable parts, we're going to see two extra set of hands, as well as an additional head scan, which you're getting some huge upgrades, this was my favorite thing when this figure was debuted, so we're going to cover that, we got the open hand, we got a full on open, we got two mic hands, one on the actual figure, one right here, and then the same one that we saw over here, we're going to see it on the right now figure right here here's the neck uh, let's bring it up to the frame so you guys can see what i mean about how it's just kind of sitting really really high the giraffe style i don't know i never dug it not sure if they had to do it this way because they wanted to incorporate this and the way that it was sitting it was just going to clash that's my reason behind it and i'm always trying to figure out reasons why and this one actually i'm not sure if we have seen this one because i know the last xavier woods that we did see i ended up doing a fix up but if you do want a comparison the true fx at least on this even though it's sitting higher i still like the overall expression you can see the dimples you can see the wrinkles on the forehead the bun it's traveling real well throughout the entire figgy my friends and also the other, the big thing that i want to point out is i want to find out if you guys saw the last unboxing the one with roman reigns it's extremely difficult to interchange the head so i'm going to go ahead and check it out see how hard it is so it pops off pretty easy so far so good popping it on is it going to be a problem nope just like that and i'm already telling you that that's exactly the way that it should be now if the glasses would have been removable i think i would have loved it just that much more but at the same time i'm all right with the glasses on yes you can't perform the in-ring action not unless if you want to take out an eye but here's another comparison let's grab that other one and i did notice too i'm not sure if you guys are picking up but there's a lot of yellow on the forehead so the paint apps they're kind of splattered throughout so when they ever ended up doing the blonde right here within the black a little bit ended up crashing through there it is there's all the interchange i like the beard too gotta say this beard is a lot more clean than this this is pretty full i like both styles but at the end of the day i'm gonna have to go with this one for figure of choice now rest of the figure let's go ahead and cover it as you guys 
saw the hands, they're all going to get the same treatment. So whether you interchange it with a full-on open hand, you're going to get the pink on the bottom, the blue right there, and the rest all mixing together, wrapping around right there inside the sleeve with a triangle torso. Same choice, Daniel Bryan, correct choice on the side. We got the New Day logo, and then we got, what do we got? Woo! Come on, man, can't you give them a real legit? I mean, that looks like an O. I know that's supposed to be a D, but at the same time, it's looking like a straight-up nature, boy. But it is Woods. It's W-O-O-D-S. So, yeah, usually Woo doesn't end with an S unless if you're talking about Hero Fix just bringing cringe. He loves the cringe factor. We're getting the belt right there, and we're not getting anything else going on right there. On the back, we're getting all that pink, all that blue. This is really awesome. I really like how they did the laces back here. It goes to show you the commitment and time spent, and that's the, you know, the attention to detail. It's not like some they're going to slap together. They're going to be like, let's hope that the pointy shoes do it. No, they got to do that. They got to do all those little extras. They got to make sure that Xavier Woods, little Richie, let's go ahead and give him a ranking. Let's do it at the end because we're going to be able to reunite. Like once this whole unboxing video is done, you guys are going to see how all three of them are going to look. And I'm already telling you, it's going to look like a true piece of hair fix. You're always forgetting that piece of tape. I am, but you know what? The WHF family, they're going to go ahead and remind me that these pancakes, we saw them in the battle pack we saw it in prior releases and there they are again we're getting all that molding the legit stacking there is still no single disc and i'm gonna keep talking about it until mattel finally decides to do it and then we got the w w e tag team champion now we have seen this i think uh what is it three times now with the doll finish prior it was a shiny gloss so there's the belt interchanging hands we got full on open the ones that are on the figure are gonna be the mic hands and rightfully so because you cannot do the intro you can't say W, W, E, if you can't hold the mic now, let's check out what Big E is bringing over here to the table. And one upgrade that I did do with the prior release was the updated look that we saw with this. Except my biggest thing is like, check it out. This, it's completely crushed, man. The man got, we, what does he do? He goes through the ropes, he goes through the middle ropes, and he ends up clashing through. He ends, he ends up spearing him right there, and he lands outside. Well, he landed bad this time, and it just got stuck. It got permanently stuck. And this, this is where they fix it. Again, this isn't something that would actually came on this figure so as far as like example it's the way that it's going to sit this is based off the most recent basic with the fix up so there it is it is actually sitting right there just the way that it should have came really glad when they do this and this is the, so almost the same application that you can incorporate with roman reigns like yeah we saw it in the past with the man bun but the way that it, like if you ended up doing the fix up if you converted it from basic to elite that's when you would have seen the whole incorrect factor of it all now coming here through the back you can see how they ended up doing the fade you can actually still see very much the engraving Aesthetic stops right there. Like the man's got the perfect barber. Like, what barber are you going to? Because this is the place where I want to hit up, man. My guy usually ends up messing my sides, but this is looking so damn fresh. Look at that. And then the beard, like, this is realistic as big he can possibly be. And then once we do reunite, and you are gonna see it, check it out. We got Woods over here. We have Kofi Kingston. He wants to wrap it up. Before we do, though, we gotta cover the attire because Big E, he still for some strange reason, he still has that rubber band. Let's go ahead and remove it. And yeah, you can go ahead and and utilize it later on on the back. There is the unicorn mixed in with pancakes and syrup. It's dripping everywhere. He wants it all over the plate. He wants it around. He wants to point down to show you the mix, the blender of the pinks, the purple. Dude, this whole series, like, yes, Elite Series 78, we were waiting. We we're like, yo, so when are you going to become, oh, Elite Series 79, so we're going to go ahead and join up. Yeah, you can do it, but not until, I'm, see, I'm telling you, I'm, t I'm trying to talk to Kofi Kingston and what's just to ease off until we get it all wrapped up, but damn, Big E, he's trying to finish it off strong upper thigh we got biggie labeled right there and it's going to be the same logo that we saw in woods except it's going to be in smaller font in order to fit it all up in there in the tights same thick thighs same mold that we've seen in prior release the whole sculpt except once you get down to absolutely nothing my friends one thing that i do wish that they ended up doing in the future like this is just one wish we've seen it in like other figure releases but if you were to go ahead and mold like the bottom right there that would be awesome well, let's incorporate all the designs and details that these tights are missing and I get it, like, they gotta go through a whole legal process, there's copyright infringement, and all that goodies, but at the same time, like, bro, go around it, find an alternate attire, find one that's not gonna be clashing with it, now ranking, I'm gonna give him a damn 9.5, this is actually standing as one of my favorite figures from the series, he kinda snuck up in here, he's like, hero fakes ain't gonna see it coming, we got Elite Series 79, Xavier Woods, and he's gonna be, oh, you, you still gotta figure it out, because we still got two left, once we go further in, that's when we can go ahead and talk to you. But until now, Big E, I'm going to give you an 8.9, dude, and that's sitting pretty high. The notches that you're going to get is from those little minor things, the little extra stuff that
that it should have, as well as that molding. Give that to us, man! After all, look how much of an improvement we had saw with the Rusev, and it took about a year for in order for us to actually see that happen. But give me your thoughts. Let me know how you guys feel about Xavier Woods. Do you think the man is safe right there with that giraffe neck, at least for the original one? Second one, that is sitting pretty good. Or is that belt? Here's the belt. Is the belt going to be that up, up, down factor that's going to go ahead and satisfy that figgy needs? I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks.